Today we're going to cover how to set a uh, swarm trap, also called a bait hive. Now a lot of people build their own bait hives uh, as a separate box and then after the swarm moves in they have to move it over to a regular long strip hive. That can make a lot of sense if you're putting your bait hives where they may get stolen so you don't really want to lose a, a full grown hive. Uh, but I always end up setting mine, or usually end up setting mine, on the back decks of people's porches. So uh, that's not really a concern with me. So I start with just a regular monster of hive with a uh, deep in here. Cover, inner cover. Now a lot of inner covers will have a slot cut in front. If you have a slot cut in front, you may want to leave the inner cover out or put a cotton ball or something in there because once you they move in, you strap it down, and you go to move it, you don't want bees coming out under the cover. You want them completely trapped in there. Now in here, it looks like we have a full set of frames, but really all we'll have is, is three frames to have anything in them. I start off with a frame of foundation, and then a frame of comb, dark brood comb. This is the best comb you can use. It's the most attractive. Uh, try to get some without any honey or a lot of pollen. If you have too much pollen, you may attract hive beetles and wax moths. Uh, this has a little bit of honey in the corner, but that'll probably get robbed out and won't really be a problem after a few days. Another sheet of foundation. And then all the rest of these frames are really empty. They're just uh, foundationless frames. Uh, these are V frames from Cali, but there's a number of ways you can do foundationless frames. Anyway, with the foundationless frames here, once the bees move in, they're going to be in a comb building mode. And it's really unbelievable how fast a swarm, a new swarm, can build comb. Uh, I've seen a swarm in like three or four days build comb all the way out to five frames. And if you don't go ahead and flush the rest of this out with these frames, you might find that they'll build paste the end of the frames and start building off your cover or inner cover and then you'll have to do a cutout. So we want to avoid that. Once they move in, of course, we move a lot of these uh, foundation frames out and put in foundation if you want, or go ahead and checkerboard it however you want to do it. Now, that's what we have on the inside of the hive, or the bait hive. In order to attract them, we need a, the equivalent of a for sale sign out front, or a ad in the newspaper. And we do that by using an attractant this is lemon grice oil, it's now brand, but you should be able to use just about any brand as long as it's pure. This mimics the Nosanov pheromone of the honeybee. And the other thing that we need to do is to reduce the entrance. Now the important thing for setting up a beehive is number one, location. You definitely want to have it where there are going to be swarms. If there are no bees around, obviously you're not going to get a swarm. Second thing is you'd like to have it probably eight or ten feet off the ground if you can, although I've seen swarms move in with it no more than inches off the ground before. Uh, third thing you want is you want a easily protected entrance. And a small swarm, this is much too large an entrance for them to protect, so it would end up making them a little bit reluctant to move in. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to put a, a piece of three-quarter inch wood in there and reduce this to about two inches here, which gives them an easily defendable entrance. And then we need the attractant, which is like running an ad in the newspaper for a regular home. And what I'm going to do here is take a plug-in. Now this is a guide plug-in. Uh, other plug-ins probably would work. We either use or we dump all the contents. We take this part here, which is the wick, and the wick is actually removable and soak that in alcohol to get all the uh, smell and the odor of whatever oil was in there before, which might be repell repellent to the bees. And once we soak it in alcohol and dry it, then we can stick it back in here, pour some lemon grass oil in here. Now you don't need much. Just that little bit right there would easily last a month or two. And odds are you'll have a swarm within a few days or a week and then we pop that back on. Now I got it off by putting a screwdriver in here and working it until it popped off. Now we have our attractant, we're just going to set it down right there next to the entrance and when the wind blows it's going to pick up that Nosanov Mimic Pheromone 
odor from lemongrass and blow it, and they'll be able to smell that up to a mile away and come in to investigate it. And once they're flying around here, they're going to find the entrance, go inside, and look around and go, oh, this is great. This is a great home. It's the right size. It's the right height. It's in a good location. We have a defendable entrance, and it's already furnished, meaning there's some common foundation already in there. So it's everything that they would want, and odds are that in a very short period of time, you're going to catch a swarm. So what we're going to do is we'll put this on a deck and see what happens within the next few days. And if we're lucky, we'll have a swarm move in. Uh, and if we do, we'll go ahead and show that. Got a hive on the deck there. And the swarm has just arrived. They aren't even really landing yet. a heap of bees and there they are it's coming on in scouts only started showing up looking at this yesterday around noon and they already moving in so third third one I've caught on the deck here. You can see them all slowly marching over here. And uh, wow. <laughs> Looks like they're clogging up the entrance, doesn't it? It's a lot of bees. Surely they're going in. They're definitely marching where the entrance is. Now there's me flying around. I guess most of them have landed now. Still coming in. There's an awful lot there on the on the entrance. <laughs> 